Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and there's been another beta update so we can check out some of the changes that have taken place. Um, sorry if there are banging sounds, there's someone hammering right next to my building and it's very annoying. So the first major change is you can see the guide's mask has changed. This is going to be one of our ultimate rewards. You can see the ears are a lot more prominent, there's horns, and there's little tassels on the side of the face as well. Pretty interesting. I do love that the face markings have been improved upon a little bit. And now our seasonal spirits have their own names. So this is the Oddball Outcast, which makes me feel quite sad for this guy. We like you. We like your little footbag emote. We have the Tumbling Troublemaker, who I think is most people's favorite emote. Little Naruto. We have the Melancholy Mope. Um, yeah, it is a mope emote, like many people have said. Moping around. And the overactive achiever, which is, of course, the pull-up emote. Whoa. One arm. So impressive. As far as the other cosmetics go, it looks to be like they're not changing too much. Um, everything looks the same. So I don't think we'll see any more changes for the capes, the hairstyles, the outfits. They are very likely in their final versions. But we'll see some changes with that ultimate cape. There was that little raccoon tail cape that wasn't really officially shown, but we saw it on a spirit before. That should probably still be coming, I'm not sure. And of course, the masks for completing the passage quests. We have the tusks, the little tassels. Everything is pretty much the same, which is nice because I actually like a lot of these designs. I love the hairstyles. No masks, of course. Um, I will do a video featuring all the cosmetics probably when the season is officially announced. Uh, and we'll go over them in greater detail. And we'll do it in a lighter space, not in home space. Because I know people don't like it when you do it in the dark. That footbag emote now does have a sound effect. And the upgraded versions have their particle effects as well, finally. Very sparkly. Oh, okay, I guess the upgraded version doesn't have a sound yet either, but the fourth version does have its sparkly particle effect added. All right, now to check the Season of Passage area, just because I've seen, well, I've heard there's a lot of changes there. And it said in the patch notes that there is new seasonal music finally. And that's one of my favorite things. That can just make a season completely if the music is gorgeous. Uh, where is my little portal thing? Hello? No music. Oh, there's the portal. Sneaky, they moved it to the side a bit. Rest by the passage stone until nightfall. Oh, that's the passage stone. All right, we're taking our little rest. I'm excited. You and your fellow pupils have... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Holy... Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. So I guess the patterns we have when we put down the light, and then we have the forest, and then we have the one by the little pond. The quests. Wow, this is so pretty. I'm going to have to redo these quests soon because I think the music's probably changed for them as well. Let's go to the top of the passage stone. Wow, the way it's all lit up. This is seriously so pretty. And weirdly, it's kind of spooky to me too. It's giving me like very eerie vibes. I don't think it's meant to be spooky though. I think I'm just scared of everything. Holy, this is so cool. I wonder if we'll be getting winged light in this area, or no, just because it's shared with the aisle. A little campground. Honestly, the campground is so cozy. Oh, we don't do emotes with the spirits anymore. 
I love the pink tones of everything in this season. So pretty. Wow. I'm shocked. Oh, it looks like we have someone over here. We only had two spirits around the campfire, so we're missing... Oh, it's the outcast. The oddball outcast. That is sad. And we're missing the roly dude. What is that? There's like a white thing. Oh, I think that's just a, a, a glitchy little thingy. Yeah. Wow. I love this. I'm excited to do the quests again now. It doesn't feel quite so plain. I don't like using the word plain because even the Isle is a lovely environment, you know? It's the perfect place to start in the game, but... Reusing it for a season would have been boring. I'm glad that they're doing some major changes. This really feels like a uh, season of prophecy. Like we're doing these trials with the other kids here. In such a good way. Let me recharge a little bit and we'll do one more look-see for the tumbling... I can't remember his name. Tumbling... T tr troublemaker. That might have been it. I can't seem to see them anywhere. You'd think they'd be rolling around. Maybe they're removed for the moment just because they have that cape on? Or maybe not. Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. So pretty. The music is amazing. I'm so excited for this season. I'm excited to do the quests again. There's going to be a big playtest, so I think I'll record my experience during the playtest. And I'll post those later on. We'll redo the quests together. I am so excited for this season. And the best part is that it's not even done. We still have to see the ultimate rewards properly. That cape. The other masks. I'm really excited. Eee! Okay, well, I think that's all I really have to share, you guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.